All right, it's time now for Kara's Cures. Today we're learning how your heart can calm your emotions. Yeah, there's really a high-tech tool that we can use to learn how to find inner balance and ease stress and anxiety. Who doesn't need that, right? Exactly. Howard Martin is joining us now to talk more about this uh, from Heart Math. Howard, I'm, I've got the inner balance sensor with me right now so we can explain it to everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Kara. And good day, guys. And I'm glad you got your inner balance sensor with you. They come in really handy during the times that we all live in right now. I know. Talk about stress. I mean, every day it's just the news isn't good and there's so much stress going on in our lives. And this can certainly help. Yeah, that's for sure. We have many challenges that we're all facing societally, globally, and personally. And I think we all need um, all the tools we can get right now to be able to move through these times with more poise and more ease and more grace. And that's what I like to talk about. I mean, our life's work here at HeartMath has been about assisting people through uh, eras of high speed change like we're experiencing right now. So uh, talk a little bit about why our heart matters, because people think of the heart as either, you know, something that pumps blood, a heart disease. But the research is showing the heart's important in regulating emotion, which is why I have this sensor that you all have created with decades of scientific research behind it. Where you kind of clip it here and you can clip it on your ear and then the app will help you kind of really get into that heart space and know if you're, I guess, meditating or using things correctly. Yeah, well, here's the deal. Back, you know, early in the 90s, our scientists here at HeartMath uh, recognized that the heart was doing more than pumping blood. That it was actually a very important information processing center in our body and that the physical heart was sending signals to our brain that influenced how our brains functioned. Most people didn't know this. So they mapped out all the ways in which that communication was taking place. And then they determined that if you learn how to better um, control what we call your heart rhythms, not just the heart rate, but this rhythmic beating pattern of the heart, that you could learn to influence higher brain function, learn to better control your emotions, learn to gain more mental clarity, move out of that brain fog we often get into. And from that, we developed the technology, the inner balance trainer, which you have. So the inner balance trainer is measuring those heart rhythms, is determining how uh, what we call coherent or incoherent they are. And then it trains you to learn to have more coherent heart rhythms and experience the benefits that occur physiologically and emotionally as a result of that. So it's really cool technology being used by hundreds of thousands of people really all around the world. And this is not something new, right? Again, as Kara mentioned, decades of research have gone into this. Yeah, we started our research in 1991 and wow. published our first major paper in the uh, American Journal of Cardiology in 1994. So, yeah, we've been at it for a while, you know, and as we've gone through this whole process, it's, it's been an amazing journey to see all this and see it unfold. Um, we built this organization many years ago, anticipating challenges that we felt people were going to face. And here we are today, you know, facing some of the most extraordinary challenges I think we've ever experienced as a global society. So it's been a cool ride. Yeah. Well, a lo uh, we're all familiar with stress, anxiety, low grade depressions, that chronic feeling of overwhelm with all we're being asked to do. Uh, the one thing that we all, most of us have now is an is a phone, a smartphone. So talk to us a little bit how we're gonna use this. Um, a lot of people are wanting to experiment with trying to put a meditation practice together, but this is gonna give you that feedback that many of us might be looking for. And it, it works right with your smartphone? Yeah, it works on your smartphone. You download the Inner Balance Trainer app from your favorite app store. So the app is free, but then you purchase a sensor, you get it from HeartMath, and the sensor connects to your, to your, your smartphone, to your, your pad, whatever you're using. Uh, you clip it to your ear, like you said, Kara, and uh, it begins to take your pulse and then turn it into that heart rhythm analysis. And it displays that information on the screen so that you're actually seeing your heart rhythms in real time. Then it starts to give you scores of how coherent or incoherent those heart rhythms are. It has guides in it. You could call them meditations. Uh, heart math techniques are designed really to be simple. Uh, something you, you can do on the go, anytime, anywhere. Uh, some of them are more like meditation techniques. Some of them are more like, you know, attitude adjustment techniques in the moment. Uh, and the app begins to show you the changes that are occurring in your body in real time. From that, you learn how to recreate those states, whether you're using the app or not. You know, when you're in the midst of the day, you're in the traffic jam, you've just watched the news, all this disconcerting news is happening, and you begin to feel that effect, that anxiety, that sense of overwhelm, um, all of that begins to happen. You can refer back to that inner state of higher coherence. Now, the app used on a regular basis gives you the ability to find that place again inside yourself much more easily. So that's what it's useful for, really helping to shift the emotional state. And then there's the physiological benefit from that. Health improvement, for example, comes as a result 
of using the inner balance trainer. I love that the uh, Heart Math Institute provides evidence that we have the ability to positively in influence our thoughts and emotional experiences, which is good news. Right. You don't feel so just at the whim of whatever your emotions exactly. are if you can have a tool to calm yourself. Yeah, you know, I think what we did at HeartMath is we used science to build a bridge between what people would try to experience in, in, so let's say, meditative practices, spiritual practices of different kinds, and put it into ordinary, not ordinary life. And the bridge was science. We gave an empirical understanding to it. So it is evidence-based, as you said. We've taken that much further into societal evidence base and global evidence base. So we've been proving things out all along. And what we've been showing really, to be honest with you, is that the qualities of heart have been long associated with heart for thousands of years, like more care, more compassion, more love, more kindness, less judgment. All of those emotional states associated with heart have a very beneficial positive effect on us, psychologically and physiologically. And I think that's the big news is that we all have good hearts, and if you learn to use them more in how we interact with life and how we interact with each other, we can move a lot of the stress out of the way that we're experiencing right now. Hmm. Well, and it's, you know, we're all trying to learn coping skills. I love having a visual, uh, just yeah. something saying, you're doing it right. Okay, look, it's working. So I think that's really going to help. And I know I want to, uh, we're going to talk about more about this on WFSB Plus on our streaming news channel for Kara's Cures. But this is a great technique for teens. Teens are, you know, hugely upset but right now, but they love technology. So this yeah, is a great we'll way for them. It. You know, we try to tell your teen to meditate. They might roll their eyes. But using some tech, this can be great for all ages, right? Yeah, they're using it in schools all over the world and for helping children deal with their emotions right now. And you're exactly right. You know, children today are faced with yep. a worldview that's unlike anything we ever faced. And they're experiencing some emotional discord as a result of that. So using inner balance trainer, using heart math techniques uh, is a, a way in which we're helping kids. And by the way, the first book we ever published here at Heart Math back in the early 90s was actually a book for teenagers. Oh, cool. so we've been conscious of conscious of the need for kids for a long time now so it's it's a hard thing for us well we're out of time for this interview but i want to continue on kara's cures on the app but thank you so much and we'll talk a little bit more about the inner balancer great for you too scott as you're trying to work on your meditation practice as soon as i figure out how to download an app howard i'm going to get right to it <laughs> <laughs> i'll see you soon okay. all right take we'll care to be continued all right <laughs> all right if you like being outdoors and good food oh there's the information right there on your screen the yes heartmap.com so uh go, definitely go take a look it's really a, an awesome tool for people. I look forward to more on Karis Cures. Yeah. All right.